This week on Pink's All Out. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Basson up in the tower said the left lane rolled the beams. It's a right lane win. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Hey! Hey! Hold on! When he staged up there, can't deep stage. Can't deep stage. But he looked down and said, okay, we're good. Wait, 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 wait. Your racer's job was to not deep stage. That's it, that's simple, guys. But you still ran it. But Darcy, I didn't see it. If you were, no, no, listen, guys. Yeah, nice. yeah, you're, you're, yeah, we're up. You're, you're right, hey, right, right. whoa. You hit me again in the chest like that, I will throw you out off that wall. Pink's All Out's pursuit to celebrate the best of grassroots drag racing has brought Rich and the team back to Denver, Colorado. Home to Bandamere Speedway. Built into a mountainside 5,800 feet above sea level, Bandamere is not only one of the highest drag strips in the world, it's also the home track of Pink's All Out's own Willie B. Welcome, racers, to Pink's All Out. Good to have you here. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I get to drop my arms a lot today and hand out a lot of money. Really, what you're here to race for is $10,000 cash. That's what you're here for, OK? And on hand to make sure the grand prize goes to the right racer is the Pink's All Out crew. It's good, man. These, these people are considered my family. So get out and have fun with them. It's awesome. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for supporting drag racing in your hometown. Thanks for all the love and appreciation, man. We love you guys. Nicknamed the Mile High Track, the thin air at Bandemir Speedway tends to slow down old school American made muscle. It takes a lot more to run fast times up here. Everybody complains about how thin the air is. People come from sea level, come up here, and they lose a whole second, and they're freaking out. But the unique conditions give four-cylinder turbo-boosted imports a fighting chance. Imports are here. Without oxygen, you can't make power. So you have to rely on forced induction in order to basically create your own atmosphere. We built this car so we could go with the Turbo 350 training and get into some serious horsepower and have some fun. Hundreds of hopefuls climb to Bandemir Speedway and are immediately put through two qualifying rounds. Round one pits the racers against the pro tree. Round two has them racing off Rich's arm drop. Qualifying wraps up, and after timing and scoring ref Brian Basson runs the ETs of the surviving cars, it's the muscle-bound mid-11 second class hot rods that scored the tightest runs and have earned a chance to race in the 32 car runoff. Someone, I guarantee, has broken this list, so you alternates, you have a good chance of getting in. Congratulations, car 167. Yeah! Oh, I'm, I'm excited, man. We missed out last year, and we're here this year, so this is awesome. Car 386. Good job, my brother. Good luck. We got plenty of hot laps in us, and uh, my Corvette's going to get her done. Car 140. 140. Where are you yeah, at? Yeah, baby. Good job, buddy. I feel awesome right now. I'm ready to kick some butt and uh, take some names. And... 333. 333 up there. Is that you? Man, I was so surprised. I mean, I didn't run super consistent, but we made it in, and I'm looking forward to it. Car number 90. That's it. Seriously? That's it? I'm, I'm real. No, really. That's it? Wasn't expecting it. Not at all. Car two, oh, three. Good. You're in it for $10,000. Ready to rock and roll. I'm not very good on camera, but I'm ready to go, man. Yeah! The chosen racers get ready for the Bandemir Speedway 32 car runoff. And the imports have spoken. A Subaru STI and a Mitsubishi Evo made the cut and are gearing to hole shot the Fords, Chevys, and Mopars to move on to the Wix Filters All Out 16. Yeah, that's awesome. Pretty good, I'm excited. I feel great, man, this is awesome. Having a great time, got an awesome car. Hopefully we keep going. 
I got 32 cars, but I only got 16 spots. Let's fire them up, let's race, come on. These are separated by less than two one hundredths. All on the left, all on the right. come from Will. It's good, he's moving on. There are 15 spots left. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rich gets word that one of the cars may lack required safety equipment. Hey, Willie, would you please look in that window and see if there's a roll cage? Yeah, yeah. There is a cage in the car? Yes, there Excellent. is a cage in the car. I didn't see it, I'm sorry, brother. It's a Camaro and a Subaru. I'm nervous. Real nervous right now. There's two spots gone, 14 spots left. Play. Check that roll cage. They won't make sure you got a cage in this thing. I don't. There's no cage in this car, Rich. What's going on? The rule is 1149 or faster. Right. Has to have a roll bar. Technically, if the dude doesn't run faster than 1149, he's legal. If he runs faster than 1149, he's out. That's illegal. Well, what do you want to do? Coming up, some racers cave to the pressure. Four other cars in line pulled themselves up. Wow. And later. He, he rolled in deep before your arms were dropped. One racer blames Rich for his mistake. Why didn't he stop it? What do you want to do? It's race four of the Bandemir Speedway 32 car runoff, when in the left lane, Thomas Griswold's 04 Evo is caught without a roll cage. He's ran faster than 1149, and he's ran slower than 1149. He went a 99, and he went a 34. When I, when I ran my 1134, I was right behind a dragster, so I did a 1560 foot on street tires. That's not going to happen. You know what I mean? I mean, now, I usually do about 172. Without the roll bar, I wouldn't let him run. It's a no. Sorry, bud. The import's going home. When you run quicker than 1149, you have to have a roll bar in the car. I would have loved to race, but, you know, that's racing. He doesn't have a roll bar, and if he's here racing, he should know the rules when he gets here. I am very mad, very, very <laughs> angry at whoever made that call. Brian just notified me four other cars in line pulled themselves out because they don't have roll cages either. Wow. Couldn't run faster than 11.49. It went 11.27, so it's not set up for tech for it. Need a cage. Very disappointed. I mean, I was you know, ecstatic to get picked, so I'm really disappointed I'm not going to be able to run. So we'll bring in an alternate. Brian, can you get me an alternate? While the crew hunts down the alternates, Rich gets the races back on track. Let's go. Let's see the burnouts, boys. I'm so excited, I can't believe it. All right, I think this is it, Brian. Our last cars. Left lane alternate. Look at that, 122 is an alternate in the left lane. He 
was going home. His number wasn't even called, and now he's in the pink's all out 16. Outran him. Didn't go too fast, obviously, so it's good. Uh, this is probably one of the, definitely the strangest 32 we've had. <laughs> Four guys out with roll bars. Two guys just went dead together right at the end yeah, of the burnout. Yeah, this may be a weird night. You know what, I think it's lack of oxygen. This yeah, is screwing my brain. Yeah, so. altitude does weird things <laughs> and evil. A 32 car runoff full of surprises comes to an end. And out of hundreds, only 16 competitors remain. To be honest, you know, it's just such a blur, but uh, just another, another round, another round. Good story is being able to make it to the final 16 today. Makes us very happy. If I can get Rich down, then I'll be all right. This is 10 grand on the line, and I'm about to win it. And I'm going to win the money. I'm taking it home. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to our Wix Filters Pinks All Out 16. Give it up, folks, one time. Now, here's the good news. You're already won. Already, you're $550 richer. You got a hat, a t-shirt. Coupon, you go online, we're giving you some Wix filter products. It's been a crazy day. That 32 was nuts. Who I got as alternates in this one? Who's my alternates? All right on, huh? Was that the gift of the century right there? All right, racers, it's very simple. If you're having fun right now, you're making a mistake because the racer across from you will beat you. You gotta be perfect. Whoever I'm looking at right now is gonna be perfect, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm looking at 16 faces and someone here is taking home $10,000 cash. You guys ready? You guys ready? Yeah! All right, racers, good luck, and let's race. Go on now, guys, let's go. The 16 top contenders ready themselves for the next round of all-out racing. The victors will secure their spots in the all-out eight and earn $500 cash. It's fun, Dad. Thanks. Here come the racers that make up the pinks. All-out 16. Willie? In the left lane. Marks in the 1979 Camaro. Six years ago, he traded a dirt bike for that Camaro. Hard worker during the week and work on cars on the weekend and, you know, nine to five guy. He is going against in the right lane, Gary, rolling in a 1967 Camaro. He's got a bet with his girlfriend. If he wins the money tonight, he has to buy her an engagement Whoa. ring. We don't get no big shows, so this is big for us. This is it for us weekend racers. Rich's arms a little bit, but uh, I thought I could have chased him down, but that's the way it is. What do we got, Will? All right, Rich, you're gonna love this next story. His name is Matthew Lunsford. He's only 19 years old in 1996 Ford Mustang in the left-hand lane. This is my whole life right here, so every dollar I've earned goes into this, and that's the way it is. He's going against Earl in the right-hand lane. He's rolling a 1964 Chevy Nova, and he says if he wins, his wife has MS. He's going to put the money to help her recovery. She's at it now. We found out four years ago, and it's hard. So it's for her. I'm gonna win it. It's all out, baby. I'm taking it home. It took off all right, just like normal, and then at the end, it sputtered out just for a split second. I might have lost it there. All right, in our third of eight races, Rich, in left lane, we have Shane Stanley. Rolling in a 1970 Chevelle. First time racing it was Pink's right here in 2008. I'm here to beat the old ball guy. I'm dropping his arms. I'm faster than him. He's going against Dustin right here in the 1970 Mustang. Owned a car for a few years. He's been racing the car since the very first week he's owned it. Loves loading up Chevy. Try to go up there and do the best you can. That's about it. I get nervous every time I go up there.
I just left good and just car ran good all the time. I'm so excited, I don't even know what to say. He got me off the tree, so it was good. A little disappointed, but somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. All right, here we go. In the left-hand lane, this is Bryce Hitner, riding a 69 Nova. He built it in his dad's backyard shop. His whole family chipped in to build this car. It's awesome. I've never raced in anything like this. This is the best thing that happened to sportsman racers, weekend bracket racers ever. It's awesome. He's racing against Aaron Dondero in the 1970 Dodge Dart Swinger. A lot of adrenaline's run through your system at that point. I've got it matted to the floor, and I'm just waiting for the slightest little flinch, and I'm out of there. Coming up, a tight race makes for a sudden turn. Oh, no, that's not good. And later, reality sets in. It's uh, not quite as fun as I thought. My nerves are killing me. It's race four of the Wix Filters All Out 16 at Bandamere Speedway. drop between two and five seconds. So I don't want these racers getting used to my cone, because there isn't one. It's go time. It's, it's winner go home now. Put it to the floor, all out, take the victory home. Thought I had him on the line. He just came by me. We we're side by side for a long way, and he just nosed me out. Willie, let's see two more cars, please. All right, in the left-hand lane, it's going to be Tom Gluns in the 1995 Camaro. He just got into racing a few years ago, pressure from his brothers. It's a family thing. Always nervous. Nervous as soon as I go into that tower until I get down at the end of the track. He's going to be going against CJ Rapp in a 1970s Chevelle. Says if he wins tonight, he's taking his entire crew, putting them on a plane tomorrow. They're going to Vegas, and they're spending every penny of it. <laughs> nice. All these guys probably won a lot of championships, and uh, I mean, got to vote for the little guy, right? Yep, right lane. It's awesome, man. Never thought I'd be here, but I'm making it so far. Just got a couple more rounds, I gotta go. I just took off and he just had a little more power than me and he just started pulling on me. Who do we got, Will? His name is Rick Johnson. 1962 Chevy 2, and when he bought this car, he actually had blue Astro turf in it. I'm just glad that there's some guys up here in the pit that helped me make this thing work, because when I got here, that car didn't run with this altitude. We have Joe in the right lane. It's in the 1988 Chevy Camaro. He built this car for Pinks at Vandermeer in 08. It's very difficult, because you're used to having the tree go down slowly. Well, now you have to react really fast. off great front end came up i'm so excited i want to go all the way now he beat me off the arm drop and i missed second gear he had me all the way really and in 1963 chevy 2 this would be steve fabrienzo he's owned six chevy twos he actually has his daughters and his wife wrenching on this car i just like to keep calm and hopefully i can just focus on what he's doing all right in this lane alan davidson in a 1972 Dodge Challenger. Says when he was a kid, he used to see his uncle's Challengers and Kudas, loves Mopars ever since. I haven't been able to stop crying since they called my number. I was beyond an alternate. Oh, 
I didn't think I was going to get him. He was he was out front. He treated me, and I caught him at the end. Died speechless. <laughs> I had him three quarters of the way. He didn't pass me till the very end. But when he did, he just came flying by. Talk to me, Will. We have Leon Weiss in a 1973 Mustang. Did all the work on this car himself in his own shop with some friends and family. I'm used to running in really better air than this. And my car's running slower up here, but it kind of got me into this group, and, and I was glad to be there. He's going against Darce Laws in a 1965 Oldsmobile. Check this out. This guy owns 12 442s. He just bought this one two weeks ago. All the cars are right on the money, so if I can catch a light, I'll get him. Coming up, it's a brand against brand showdown. And I wanted to put a Camaro on the trailer. It's a lot of talk. I, I let my car do the talking. And later, deep in the night, tempers yeah. explode. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. We're up. You're right. Hey. Hey. Right, right. Whoa. It's the last race of the Wix Filters All Out 16 at Bandamere Speedway. Oh, that's not good. Wiley! Perfection. I treat him, stayed ahead of him about a car length the whole way. It was close, really close. Show me the money. He just left me in second gear enough I couldn't catch him. I don't know if I spun a little bit or what happened, but I didn't make it to the end quite as fast as I needed to. 16 raced, but only eight remained. 122 is our fastest car out there, yeah. but our second fastest is 90. An 81 Earl, he's pretty good matchup, 11 over here. But these guys are real consistent across the board. With the competition only getting tighter, Ken meets Clay and Willie B at the pairings board to match up the all-out eight. Let's do this. Let's have a Camaro Mustang right off the bat, 90 and 76. Okay. The master here paired you up against some tough competition. Yeah, yeah put you against a Camaro. Oh, okay. I think I wrote down on that sheet that I wanted to put a Camaro on the trailer. Yeah, the Chevy. Yeah. It says right here. It's a lot of talk. I, I let my car do the talking, so. <laughs> All right, Gary, Dustin, here is your money, $500 richer. Try to build on that money, because two of you are going to become one of you. Gary, tell me about your racing experience before Pink's tonight. Every weekend is a good weekend. You know, you come out here, you have fun. Every day that you're racing, you're happy. Better than being at work. OK, it's better than being at work. Dustin, tell me about what your strategy is as you go forward. Just got to leave first. I see you got the focus. I see you got the focus. Gentlemen, please shake hands, and let's race. Here we go. Car good? Car's good. Feeling good. Track's good. All right, man, get on the wheel. This, I mean, this is big money yeah. out here. Go get it. All right. The guy next door over there is looking to take you out. Of course. Hit that arm drop, move on to that next round. That's the plan. Go do it. Thank you. All right, racers, here we go. All the way down, I seen him all the way down till the last, probably about the thousand foot, just pulled away from him. Yeah, I think I beat him on the arm drop, but I just, in the middle of the track, I could see him pulling through me, so just slow down a little bit, I think. Ken and the crew returned to the pairings board to match up the second race of the all out eight. Let's get rid of that. This got a 63 and 64 Nova. Let's pair those together. Okay. 
All right, Steve and Earl, the Nova Nova showdown that uh, Ken Herring put together. Steve, tell me right now, how many years have you been involved in drag racing? Probably about 30. Wow. Wow. Earl, what is the commitment involved in being a drag racer? A great family that's involved with me. I got a son that's involved too, so. Right? It's a lot of fun. All right, gentlemen, please shake hands. Best of luck. Double time your cars and let's race. You know what? It's just going to get more hectic from here. Hectic don't bother me. I run True Street, and you run three back-to-back -back passes in that after doing a 30-mile drive, so my car's ready for it. It loses a lot of stress for me, you know, having to own business and everything. I lose a lot of stress doing this. Perfect, so you just saw the best tree of the night. Earl is moving on. Well, I got treed, and I couldn't catch him. I, I couldn't catch him for nothing. I told you I'd be back. It's mine. I didn't even look back. Didn't even look sideways until I finished. Ken, Clay, and Willie B pair up race three of the All Out Eight. All right, we got the dart still going. We were thinking of the Chevelle. What do you think? Sure. The, the dart Chevelle? All right, CJ, Eric, here's your uh, $500. CJ, you're very close. Is the pressure of the day getting to you at all, or do you feel more calm as you get kind of closer to the race? You know, I think I've calmed down a whole lot. You look like you're right there, man. Yeah, you definitely have to be that way. You gotta be all mental just to, to keep it going. Perfect. Eric, how long have you been racing? About four years. You're the, you're the guy that did the four years? You started late? How'd you, why'd you start so late? I just never had the money to get a car and get started. All right, Eric, you're a great guy. CJ, you're the man. Please shake hands, racers, and get to your cars, and let's race. CJ, how's the car? Running great. You know it's time to get serious. Get that game face on. I got it on. Go do what you got to do. I don't know, sir. So you know what it's time to do, right? Time to get it on, Clay. Let's get it done. Hey, I'm undergunned here. I'm going out there to fight right now. Will it be the Mopar? Will it be the Chevy? feet, eight one hundredths of a second. He's moving on. Definitely looked like I had a pretty good tree on that one, so I gotta stick with it. No other greater feeling in the world. We gave it everything we had. We had him halfway, three quarters of the track, and he just didn't spot me at the end there. It's now down to the last race of the All Out Eight. And then the Oldsmobile, yep. 122, fast, guy. Right fast one. And we just had to put him with the Camaro, 240. This, nasty Camaro. Yeah. this guy was the Which best was on the close, arm drop. Was really close to being too fast, so that'll be a good little matchup. Uh, right. uh, Darce, Joe, here's your uh, $500. Uh, Darce, nerves kicking in. How are you feeling right now? Actually, it's uh, not quite as fun as I thought. My nerves are killing me. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just going to watch your arms and tree them. That's all you can do. So, Joe. Um, his nerves are kicking in. How are your nerves holding up right now? They're feeling all right. You look like you're kind of calm and in the zone. How well do you know your car? Uh, pretty good. Okay. Please shake hands, and gentlemen, let's race, all right? I'm just being honest. I'm nervous. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Everything goes well. I'll be back. Come see me. Hit that arm drop. You ready? Oh, yeah. Go do what you know how to do, buddy. We'll do. Get after it. All right. Go do it. I love that car. That is economical go fast right there. All right, Joe, here we go. Here we go, guys. Coming up, one racer's fate lies in a playback. There's a lot of money laying on those guys over there for me. Wait, 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 it goes back on again. And later, Rich lays it on the line. We set out like racers, we line up and we race.
It's the fourth and final race of the All Out 8 at Bandamere Speedway. I just left before him and never saw him the whole way. I was waiting for him to pass me because I thought he was a little faster. The shift column in my transmission came right up. Freaking stripped the bolts right through the sheet metal. The field has narrowed down to the last four. Alternate Dars Laws and his lone Oldsmobile have beaten the odds to make it this far. While CJ Rappa's unbreakable confidence has brought his 70 Chevelle into view of the final. But if either Gary Padilla's 67 Camaro or Earl Garzinski's 64 Nova wins the 10 grand, the money's going to a very special cause. If I win the money, my wife's gonna get most of it. She's got MS, so it'll help her out. I'm just running for my wife, I'm running for my car, and I'm running to the end of the track, and that foot's on the floor. There ain't no letting off. If I win it, I have to buy a, somebody an engagement ring. We've been together six, almost six years now, and he came into the relationship. I have three boys, and he raises them. He's wonderful. Ken meets with Clay and Willie B to match up the all-out four. Two more races to fill the two spots in the final and earn the victors $1,000 cash. I want to do 81 and 122. So you put the guy with the best reaction time against the guy? A little fast, yeah. Earl, Dar, 750. Tell me about your strategy to get through this round. I don't care if he's fast. I'm going to get him off the line and all the way down the track. OK. Darth, on paper, you should win this competition tonight, but that rarely happens on pinks because of emotion. Do you feel like since the last race, you got your emotions back in check? That's all. I just got to catch a better light. That's all there is to it. All right, please shake hands, get to your cars, and let's race. You ready? I am, buddy. Thanks. All right, man, let's see it. Do all right. It. Ain't nobody here scared. That's right. Go do it. All right, man. Everybody's telling you how good you are on the tree. Now you got to go out there and do it. I'm doing it. Because you're going against the fastest car out there. Okay. It's time to get with it, brother. Don't let the hype get to you. It ain't. Show us. did tree him. We just run him down on the big end. We got lucky there. If that was the best guy on the tree and he couldn't beat me, ain't no competition left. I don't know, man. I cut the light on him and he caught me at the very end by maybe a bumper. I mean, it was close. It's now come down to the last race of the All Out Four. Suddenly, CJ. And this guy, Gary, he's going to propose if he wins. Ooh, that's some pressure. All right, Gary, good job. All right, CJ, good job. All right. You want to go to Vegas, you know? You want to get married. Gary, yeah, is your focus there? Is your car running all right? Car's running good. I'm trying to stay real focused on you and just. Yeah, you're calm. You're, you're good, you know? CJ, do you have another seat for me when you go to Vegas if you win this thing? Absolutely. Go Let's go. Shake hands. This is for a shot in the pink solo finals. Good luck, gentlemen, and let's race. I want him to win more than anything. We will we'll get married no matter what. What's well, spinning around up there? I see a <laughs> grin coming. Tell me about it. I'm oh, just trying to stay focused. So if I can stay all focused, right. I'll be all right. Are you going to win this round? Yes, sir. No doubt. No doubt. So three laps will not be a problem? No, not at all. Engagement versus Vegas. Coming up. Get ready for a knockdown drag out hot lap final. It is a must win for the left hand lane. And later, wait, wait. a ruling. It's too fast. Is met with a revolt. Hey,
It's down to race two of the all-out four at Bandemir Speedway. I gotta tell you, you're marrying the right woman because when you lost, she almost collapsed, all right? So she's just rooting for you all out. So listen, buddy, great job. Thank you. This is a huge deal. I mean, he's gonna remember this for the rest of his life, and that's everything. Race went real well. I thought it would be a little bit closer just because of the margin of gap that separated us, but it didn't look like he got a too good of a, a, a start on it. I think that's what kind of messed him up. Hundreds of racers braved the mile-high track at Bandemir Speedway. 32 were chosen to race for one of 16 spots. Those 16 became eight. Those eight were cut down to four. And now only two remain. CJ Rappa's 70 Chevelle and Darce Law's 65 442. To me, in my opinion, CJ's a little rough on the tires, a little rough on the transmission. He's been pretty smooth all night. It's a big block Chevy's. It's gonna be fun. CJ, Darce, here's your $1,000. This is an all or nothing competition. It's a hot lap two out of three. CJ, what's so special in you right now that's made you get here? Um, just game face, it's all mental. Um, I got it locked down pretty good to where I just have to go out and do my best, do what I do. Darce, you have the fastest car. Is your car prepared to hot lap? Definitely, this is gonna get fun. Okay. I wish you the very best of luck, racers. Shake hands and let's race. This is it. What's it telling you right in here right now? I'm going to puke. I'm going to puke. That, I like an honest answer. That, that's a good thing. And you know what? That fear is a good thing to, to, to feed off of. Drive this car. Do what you've been doing all night. OK, thank you. Just three runs away, 10 grand. Yes, sir. Go do it. I will. Let's do the burnouts, racers. Obviously, he's got to leave on time. I mean, he's mashed it to the floor, putting it on the converter way ahead of time. So the guy on the left side is just a smooth cat, so. I mean, Darsh is just, he is smooth. Got him at the top end of the track. It was pretty darn close. So I'm thinking about a fender, so hopefully we can get him next time. They're switching lanes. It's one to Darsh. It's zero to CJ. It is a must win for the left-hand lane. And let's see the burnout. If I was him, I'd be driving that thing back as fast as I could to make it hot as I could and going to make a lap and let it slow down here. You know what? That's all he's got to do. You were just a little too fast. Okay? You were too fast. You won the last one. This is it. It's one to one, the final race. Let's see the burnouts. Come on. Shut up.
a song up in the tower. Said the left lane rolled the beans. It's a right lane win. Yes. Yes. Hey, hey, hold on. Coming up, the hot laps are done. But it's not over yet. You looked down and said, OK, we're good. Your job's not to roll in D. You still ran it. Pink's All Out is at Bandamere Speedway. The third race of the best of three hot lap final has just been run. Darce Law's 442 crossed the finish line first. Yeah! But the win is awarded to CJ Rappa after Brian Bassone spotted Darce rolling the beams. It's a right lane win! Yeah! Hey, hey, hold on! What? When he staged up there, his, his bottom one was already off. He can't, he can't roll the beams, he can't deep stage. But you looked down and said, okay, we're good. Wait, 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 wait. Your racer's job was to not deep stage. That's it, it's that simple, guys. They say you deep stage and you didn't. Why didn't he stop it? Exactly, why didn't he stop it? And that's what I'm saying. He said he looked down and he didn't notice it. He, he rolled in deep before your arms were dropped. I didn't stop you. I would've no, stopped. Didn't stop I didn't see you. Darcy, listen, my job's not to stop you. If I see it, I stop you. Your job's not to roll in D. But you still ran it. But Darcy, I didn't see it. If you were, no, no, listen, guys. Yeah. Guys, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. we're up. You're, you're, hey, hey, right. whoa, you hit me again in the chest like that, I will throw you out off that wall. I'm sorry, I just went up like that. All right. I hope that uh, everything's true. <laughs> hey, Darcy, you want me to look at the tape? I'll look at it. And I'm sure they're not going to change their mind. There's a lot of money laying on those guys over there for me. OK, I set, I, I set my mic, set the mic. There, there, he's got to be in. Wait, 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 it goes back on again. The other bulb was still bouncing on and off like I was still teetering, you know? They're right there, right there, Josh. That's out. Yeah. Hey, Darce, it wasn't even close. What? It was out the whole time. But it's not just the deep staging that Darce is contesting. He and his crew refused to believe that he broke out in race two. It's too fast! I don't understand why I already beat him twice and I had to go again. Because you, <laughs> you ran too fast that second pass. I can't see it running faster when it was hot. Right. It didn't. Faced with a team refusing to concede, Rich decides there's only one way to settle the score once and for all. One all or nothing. I don't care about the times. Just man up and line up and run it. Go. You want to do it, Dars? For yeah, ten thousand dollars, shake hands, get in your cars, let's race. All right, buddy. They're racing one more time. We set out like racers. We line up and we race. This is how you settle it. Is this what you guys want? All right. Let's see the burnouts. We did it fair, we did it even while we are hot, and we won, now it's done. That was the toughest race I can possibly say I've ever had. Well, especially when you're talking $10,000, I'm devastated. CJ, congratulations. All right, so CJ, would you agree that Darce got you on the first one? Definitely. So Darce, so you agree that you, got, you were too fast on that second one, okay? And the third one, okay, you agree you rolled the beams? Yes. That might have been the best race I've seen all year because of what it meant. CJ, congratulations. Here's $10,000 cash. Please shake this man's hand. Check it out, CJ. Pink's All Out Champion, Bandamere Speedway 2010. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations. Good job, man. Good job. There's no doubt CJ Rappa was in it to win it. His calm and cool confidence beat back hundreds of racers and carried him all the way through a hotly contested final. 
where even in the face of a rerun, he didn't flinch and drove on to become Bandemir Speedway champion. I'm excited. It took me three years to do it, but it's done. <laughs>